AIDS Walk New York is on Sunday, and while there is still no cure for AIDS, treatment has dramatically changed the prognosis for the immune disease. For many with AIDS and HIV, a combination of drugs has turned the disease into a treatable chronic condition. Just as significant, CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us there are now medications that can actually prevent AIDS. These are some of the medications that have transformed AIDS and HIV, the virus that leads to AIDS, from a perceived death sentence into... Anyone who is diagnosed with HIV today who has access to medical care is likely to live as long and full of a life as anyone who is not HIV positive. Damon Jacobs is a licensed marriage and family therapist who has lived through and watched much of the AIDS pandemic. He told me that AIDS is still very much with us, and especially the rest of the world but that there's been huge developments in prevention. It is a pill that one uses before they're sexually active or before they're put at risk for contracting HIV that reduces the likelihood of becoming HIV positive by about 99%, according to the CDC. PrEP, or pre-exposure prophylaxis, is a medicine that can prevent HIV. PrEP is for people who are HIV negative and at risk of getting HIV. I'm on the pill. I'm on the pill too. You may have seen the commercials for the two medications that are approved for PrEP. Step up, PrEP up. To help keep you free from the risk of HIV. The key is that it's for people who are HIV negative and are proactive for prevention and are able to take their meds on a daily basis. A different kind of prevention is called PEP for post-exposure prophylaxis. Bictarvi is a complete one pill, once a day treatment. It's an emergency medication taken after possible unprotected exposure to HIV, but must be taken within 72 hours of exposure. And finally, the multi-drug cocktails that have turned HIV AIDS into a chronic disease have another benefit. Someone who is living with HIV can have their viral load suppressed fairly quickly they cannot sexually transmit HIV to another partner. But if an HIV positive person stops taking their medications, the virus will likely come roaring back. So while these drugs can be lifesavers, they require access to affordable care and responsibility to take them consistently. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And the countdown to AIDS Walk New York is on. You can watch this year's virtual event, AIDS Walk Live at Home, streaming on CBSN New York this Sunday at 1 p.m.